Uh, hi, I'm Lou Bellamy, and uh, I'm directing Two Trains Running. Um, it, like Amanda, I have a relationship with this piece yes. that's gone on for a number of years. I produced uh, Wilson's first professional production, and the theater uh, that I am the artistic director of has done more of his work than any theater mm -hmm. in the world. So. I, I'm familiar with his work. Um, <laughs> this is one of one of my favorite plays, and it's one that that I think is often overlooked. Mm -hmm. um, one of the hallmarks of a Wilson drama is his ability to give epic proportion to everyday life. Mm -hmm. Garbage collectors, restaurant owners, in the conduct of their lives. <clears throat> become, well, epic in nature, uh, uh, in a way that in other drama, the things that they consider, the, the philosophy, the way of life, and so forth, is reserved for royalty. Kings and queens typically only do these deep considerations, introspective behavior that are part of a Wilson drama. The other part of it that I find fascinating, and be, because it's low to the ground in that way, um, it demands an ensemble approach to the work. Mm -hmm. And I love ensemble acting. I'm part of a, of a company that's been together for 36 years. So there's not much you can hide from those actors <laughs> and, and so forth. So um, you should, it, it should ring of authenticity. When, when you see it, if we've done our, our job. The other thing I'd like you to be aware of or to notice, I hope, is that there, it, it's naturalism. And unfortunately today, naturalism has gotten sort of a bad rap. Mm -hmm. uh, people think, oh, I know that. Well, we'll see. Um, uh, hopefully the choreography and the, the craft level of these actors will bring naturalism to a level that you'll be surprised by. There'll, there'll be pings in it that, mm -hmm. that are, are quite surprising. Um, I don't know, that's a start. <laughs> it's you know, a start. We could go on talking about The other thing mm -hmm. that might be interesting for you is mm -hmm. typically in a Wilson play, the antagonism isn't, the antagonist is not on stage. Mm -hmm. It exists out in the community. So you see these people come into this restaurant and it's like a warm little place where they can be themselves, but the tension is constantly on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've addressed that with an open door or a closed door. Every one of these characters shares a blank spot and unfulfillment. And they're, they're after that. Mm -hmm. And this is about that equilibrium. Mm -hmm. One way to go. There's life, there's death, there's two trains running. In two trains, it is his formula for presentation is perhaps, I think, at its best because it's so ensconced in ritual. Mm. Typically in a Wilson drama, you'll have an older male mm -hmm. who is the sort of keeper of wisdom, African-esque and all that sort of stuff. You'll have a younger man who's rash and, and is trying to figure out the world and running into everything and just being messy and you know, <laughs> getting into trouble and all that. Mm -hmm. And so both those characters are, are there. What is paramount for me is there is a complete social order presented on stage mm -hmm. with norms, behavioral patterns, the whole, a whole society is presented in this little room mm -hmm. by, uh, by their adherence to a certain ritual. You want the men to the penitentiary? I want the hell! I want my hair. 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 Malcolm Lee. 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 All my hair in here. Some business. Rest up. I want my hair. Don't go. 
I read these lines, and they're not funny when you read them, many of them. <laughs> and suddenly, when someone says the thing, you're falling over laughing, and you almost don't know why. <laughs> There's an old guy in there, someone asks him, and says, uh, well, I didn't even know you had a grandfather. He said, I had two of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why, why is that funny? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I talked with August once, and in, in, uh, in, in Fences, he mm -hmm. talks about uh, biscuits, mm. and this guy's eating biscuits. And I talked with him, and I said, well, what about this biscuits? He said, well, muffins aren't funny. <laughs> Well, they're not. I mean, muffins, <laughs> you know, but biscuit-eating guy, that, now that's funny. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So thank you, Lou. Thank you.